Hello everyone. So today's video is in continuation with the previous topic which I took that is on the skeletal muscle relaxant or written as SMR. So in the previous video I just gave a brief introduction of the skeletal muscle relaxant and then the classification, how we classify it and then I mainly focused on the peripheral actin skeletal muscle relaxant. So in a peripheral actin also it is those which act on neuromuscular junction. So they are the two neuromuscular junction and those which act directly on the contractile apparatus like dendrobium and pulmon. So on the neuromuscular junction further we have non-depolarizing depolarizing and which directly inhibit acetylcholine release. So we discussed the mechanism of action of non-depolarizing and depolarizing along with that before that how the normal skeletal muscle it contracts for physiology of skeletal muscle contraction. Hope you understand, understood the previous uh, lecture. So, this one is a classification description of the previous one. Central peripheral acting, we started with this and under this non-depolarizing and depolarizing, I just left this one and this one. So we focus mainly on the depolarizing and non-depolarizing and their mechanism of action. So today is just to see the differentiating points between these two, non-depolarizing and depolarizing. Depolarized way we have mainly two drugs, succinylcholine and decamethylene. Right? And chemotherapy we use only succinylcholine. Whereas non-depolarizing, they are further categorized into three. Depending on its duration of action, they are long acting, intermediate acting and a short acting. Now just look at the basic differences between the depolarizing and non-depolarizing. So here it is a depolarizing one and here it is a non-depolarizing one. So this is a non-depolarizing and this is a depolarizing blocker. So non-depolarizing may have a competitive just it is me long acting, short acting all the depolarizing may have a succinct Choline that comes. So here I have kept the proof type drug of non depolarizing that is a D tubercholine. This difference is they have written. D tubercholine. So the first difference is what is the mechanism of action? So you all know. Mechanism of action to non depolarizing, they are the competitive antagonists. Both they act on the where at the neuromuscular junction here, NM receptor with the neuromuscular junction. So, this act as a competitive antagonist, like they have affinity but no intrinsic activity. This act as an agonist, they have affinity plus sub maximal intrinsic activity. Now, what kind of paralysis this cause? G2 burden, it causes the Placid paralysis, whereas succinylcholine it causes a fasciculation followed by placid paralysis. That is a phase one. Now sequence of paralysis. Sequence of paralysis in a detubocurin, it is a smaller muscle. They are affected first, like fingers. You can see here, fingers. We have these the fingers, and then extraocular muscles. Okay, this is the number two extraocular muscle. For me, your fingers, extraocular muscles. Then limbs, limbs may have hand, feet, forearm, forearm, or yes, are you then you can central or push neck, face, trunk. Last may have respiratory muscle, that is intercostal muscle and diaphragm. Recovery it occurs in a reverse order. Whereas on the other hand, succinyl and choline, the larger muscle, like the twitches, you can see fasciculation, rather you can see fasciculation on the chest and abdomen, followed the twitches on the cheek and abdomen. Then on the neck, limbs, face, or bed trunk, and respiratory muscles. The important thing is the respiratory muscle is the last one in both the cases. Dtubocurin in there, yes, succinylcholine in there. But 
Here the duration of action is so short that paralysis is not that much distinguishable. And another difference is there is no muscle soreness in case of deep tuberculosis because directly there is a placid paralysis. Whereas in deep polarizing, succin and polyn, you can get muscle soreness it follow the recovery. And why it happens? Because of the fasciculation. Fasciculation is what happens? There will be damage and that leads to muscle soreness. This is not one of the side effect with the succin and polyn. Now another important difference is on the autonomic ganglion. Deep tuberculosis, it causes the blockage. Where is succinyl and choline? Stimulation. Now it is going to cause the stimulation of the block, uh, ganglion. So which ganglion? Agar vagal ganglion hai, vagal as well as synthetic, do no ko Vagal ke saath kya hoga aapka? Bradycardia. That causes the bradycardia. Whereas if it is going to stimulate the sympathetic, that leads to the tachycardia. Then histamine release. Histamine release that is very common with the depolarizing, non-depolarizing and maximum it is seen with detuberculin. And it causes the, if we give intradermal, that leads to B. And along with the, sometimes with the histamine, along with that, heparin may also release. Whereas less histamine that is released with succinylcholine as compared to d tuberculin Now, cardiovascular, there is a fall in blood pressure. Now, why fall in blood pressure is seen with the d tuberculin Because, number one, there is ganglion blockage. Number two, histamine release. Number three, less venous drainage. So all these three, they lead to fall in blood pressure and followed by there is a tachycardia. Whereas in case of succin and pollen, already have to, there is a ganglionic stimulation. So ganglionic stimulation, agar vagal ki hui, to bradycardia, followed by tachycardia, that is because of the stimulation of the sympathetic ganglion. You have to become this vagal. Sympathetic. Or same here also, which you have not seen the same thing here I have written. Now, respiratory with the G tuberculin, because of the release of histamine, this bronchospasm is because of histamine release. Whereas with the succinylcholine, no bronchospasm that is seen. So, these are the few important differences between the competitive or non depolarizing and depolarizing blocker. I already told this is a Keeping in mind with the G tuberculin, and but you know, non depolarizing, they are further categorized into long acting, intermediate acting, and short acting. What are the differences among themselves? In the differences are all of them, all of them they cause the release of the histamine, all of them they stimulate the ganglion, all of them they cause the bronchospasm, all of them they cause the uh, fall in BP. So, wo dekhne ke liye, kis mein kya hai? there is another way of classifying this, like chemical classification of especially this non depolarizing. This program is just for non depolarizing ki chemical classification. So, how is that non depolarizing ki chemical classification? Is? We have isopyrulon derivative, there are three isopyrulon, lithonium, and steroidal derivative. These are the three which uh, chemically we classify. So, this may be a little bit of a beach that is a methonium one. So, methonium is a methonium, sorry, calm me. Methonium, may there is one drug that is a galam. So, galam, it is not used nowadays because it is the least potent and because of its nephrotoxic potential. एक तो इसको नेफ्रोटॉक्सिक है, दूसरा ये टेरेटोजेनिक है, एंड तीसरा इट हैज वर्ड द बेगुलेटिक प्रॉपर्टी एंड कॉज द टेक्निकली ये रीज़न है वन इस इट इस लीस पोटेंट इट इस लीस पोटेंट इट इस नेफ्रोटॉक्सिक इट इस टेरेटोजेनिक एंड इट हैज वर्ड द बेगुलेटिक इफेक्ट दैट � because of these four reasons, it is not used therapeutically. Now, how many of us have to do? We have to isopinolone and we have a steroid. These two are two. So, isopinolone, how to remember these drugs? G-tubercurin, Hapivas, Doxacurin, Nivacurin, Vitocurin, Atropurin and Cisatorin. If I remember this, I am GM in anesthesia. So, I am isopinolone. This is G M in 
anesthesia. So D stands for detubercurine and doxycurine. M stands for two drugs bevacurine and metocurine. And E stands for atracurine and its enantiomer that is cis-atracurine. Similarly, steroidal diabetes. How to remember this? She went to PBR to watch movie Gada. She stands for here steroidal PBR. This PBR to watch the movie Gada. So P stands for pancuronium, pipecuronium. V is vicuronium, rocuronium, and V is vicuronium. R is rocuronium and rapacuronium, and G for gentacurium. And further, you can see the color coding also. If you I have written in whether you see this isoquinone on our vector, it may be red color, black, and blue. I have used three color, and even steroidal, I have used the three color. So these three color indicates what with the red. ये रेड वाले जो है वो लॉन्ग एक्टिंग है जैसे पहले क्लासिफिकेशन ऐसे की थी डिपेंडिंग ऑन द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ एक्शन नॉन जी पोलराइजिंग दे आर फर्दर क्लासिफाइड डिपेंडिंग ऑन द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ एक्शन लॉन्ग एक्टिंग इंटरमीडिएट एक्टिंग एंड शॉर्ट एक्टिंग यहां पे भी वो क्लासिफिकेशन रखी रेड कलर जितने भी हैं जैसे डी ट्यूबोक्यूरिन डॉक्सोक्यूरियम मिटोक्यूरियम यालामीन पैनक्यूरोनियम पाइक्यूरोनियम दे आर द लॉन्ग एक्टिंग नो ब्लैक कलर लाइक एट्राक्यूरियम सिस एट्राक्यूरियम विकिरोनियम एंड लॉकिरोनियम दे आर इंटरमीडिएट एक्टिंग वेयर एज अ ब्लू कलर Vivacurium, Rapacurium, and Gentacurium. They are the short acting. So this is another way of classifying the chemical classification of the peripheral acting neuromuscular blocker. Non depolarizing me or competition me up there. Whereas depolarizing is one drug, two drug name, but one we use that is why I wrote only one name. Succeed me, Colin. Now same name. Do you all remember? Isoquinolone. How do you come in? Next slide. Let's see it. I am G M in anesthesia. So I stands for what? I so quinoline derivative. पहले बता दे. D M in anesthesia. इसमें क्या है? She is steroidal. Went to P V R to watch movie Gun. Now what is the basic difference between I so quinoline derivative and when do I so quinoline? डेरिवेटिव they are a little bit they show more action like this in comparison to the steroidal one steroidal se utne nahi aate let's see how, what we can see with the steroidal and what we can see with the isoquinolone in the next slide so histamine release number one histamine release one it is maximum with the g tubercurin and lesser with the other whereas least with the steroidal in the hai ka It is the least with the steroid. Now ganglionic blocker maximum with the D tubercurin and metocurin and least with the other. Baki me kabhi jab aap bahut zada dose dete ho, yahan pe steroid hai na they do not block. This means they are safe. Histamine release nahi karte if they are not releasing the histamine. There are many side effects. Bronchus spasm nahi hoga, aapka full potential nahi hoga. So these side effects we can avoid it because this drug they do not cause the this histamine release up to that extent. Now hypotension maximum with the G two bacterium and least with the M mitocurin, mevacurin and atracurin. Whereas, is me kya hai hypotension? Is me hypotension? It's only the pancuronium which has got the vagolytic action because of the blockage of M two receptor. Right, that leads to tachycardia. Now respiratory tract bronchospasm because of the release of release of histamine. Yaha me kya hai the rapa Curonium. It is one of the fastest acting steroidal skeletal muscle relaxant, but it is withdrawn. Why it is withdrawn? Because of its life-threatening complication. That is, it causes the bronchospasm. Here, the complication of nothing. So, this case, we have to understand that this drug it is withdrawn. Rapa curonium. 
Then the most commonly, most commonly used non depolarizing, remember one thing PVCR, Vicuronium, cis atropurine, and it is a Vicuronium, cis atropurine, and ये वाले सारे के सारे आपके यूज होते हैं ऑल द थ्री दे आर यूज विक्योरोनियम सिस एट्रोकोरियम एंड प्रोक्योरोनियम राइट नो कम टू द इंडिविजुअल डिफरेंसेस मोटे मोटे आपको बता दूं कि लाइक डी ट्यूबर क्योरोनियम का क्या है कहां पे यूज होनी है लाइक डी ट्यूबर क्योरोनियम पाइटेक आप दिस इज आल्सो नॉट यूज्ड क्लिनिकली व्हाई वी आर नॉट यूजिंग इट नंबर 1 इज टेंडेंस नंबर 2 गैंगलियन प्रोटीन नंबर 3 कार्डियोवैस्कुलर इंस्टेबिलिटी नंबर 4 Duration of action it needs a reversal. All these features, they say, it is not used clinically. So, what is it? Histamine release. I'm very small, small. Histamine release. Okay, is it? Ganglionic blockage. Okay, that is another. Hypotension needs reversal with the nerve stigma. then cardiovascular instability because of the it is not used it is not used next coming to the doxafurin onset onset of action of doxafurin it is very very less so it is the longest acting the longest duration of action of peripheral acting non depolarizing skeletal muscle relaxant that is doxa curium sabse jyada longest duration of action iska hai doxa curium ka and onset of action least onset of action so so where will we want to perform the prolonged surgery jahan pe aapko prolonged surgery karni hai wahan pe aap isko you can use doxa curium beta curium next is beta curium beta curium aapki isme sirf ek hi hai that it causes a ganglionic blockage that is seen with the beta curium so ye aapki kya aagi this is the longest duration so you can see 60 to 120 minutes ab jahan pe lambi surgery chahiye or long procedure you want you can go for it and beta curium ganglionic blockage isko itna use nahi karte hain then nivacurium nivacurium is the only not only it is a non depolar jaise kisi ka hai na like uh, short duration of action succinyl choline what is that it is a short duration of action so short duration of action of depolarizing ek hi hamare paas shortest short duration and fastest hai depolarizing that is a succinyl choline non depolarizing mein short duration iska hai it is a nivacurium So this is just like the succinyl choline. It is also metabolized by acetyl. Succinyl choline is what is it? Sudo cholinesterase. This is also sorry metabolized by the sudo cholinesterase. But if anybody is there is deficiency of the sudo cholinesterase, then prolonged paralysis will be there. But we can reverse it with the neostigmine. This is the difference between the mitocurium and the succinyl choline. Succinyl choline में ये है कि अगर person is deficient of the sudo cholinesterase, उसमें neostigmine नहीं, you have to go for the ventilatory support. So this is the difference between the mitocurium and the succinyl choline. So if any patient is a deficient with this. so we can go for this nivacurium plus a newer is also under clinical trial that is a gentafurium that is a fastest acting and the shortest acting that is under phase 3 clinical trial if once it is approved we may use this one uh, as an alternative to the succinyl choline then next one is a atropurium this is the one that in the intermediate duration of action is mein khas kya hai ki this is metabolized non enzymatically इसमें आपके माइक्रोसोमल एंजाइम ही होते हैं नॉन एंजाइमेटिकली इट इज मेटाबोलाइज इन द प्लाज्मा और उसको हम क्या बोलते हैं हॉफमैन एलिमिनेशन कई बार ये भी आ जाता है हॉफमैन एलिमिनेशन प्लस इट इज आल्सो मेटाबोलाइज बाय द कोलिनेस्ट्रेस एंड आई व्हाट इज दिस हॉफमैन एलिमिनेशन और दिस वन हॉफमैन एलिमिनेशन ये आपका क्या है आइसोफिनोलिन डेरिवेटिव आइसोफिनोलिन 
डेरिवेटिव दोनों इसमें क्या होता है दे आर दो टू आइसोफिनोलीन दे आर बाउंड विद एस्टर बॉन्ड इज दैट दिस कॉजेस द रैप्चर ऑफ दैट एस्टर बॉन्ड इन द आइसोफिनोमा मोइटी तो दैट वे इट इज मेटाबॉलाइज्ड सेकंड वन इज इट इज आल्सो मेटाबॉलाइज्ड बाय द कोऑर्डिनेस्ट्रेस विद द मेटाबॉलिज्म देयर इज अ प्रोडक्ट दैट इज लो एडोनोसिन इसमें क्या है दिस ऑल्सो मेटाबलाइज इन सेम वे ऑफ मैन एलिमिनेशन होती है इसमें भी बट इसमें क्या है दैट मेटाबॉलिक प्रोडक्ट डोडेनोसिन दैट इज नॉट प्रोड्यूस व्हिच इज गोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस अ सीजन वो इसमें सिस एट्रोक्यूरियम में नहीं होता सो वी प्रेफर सिस एट्रोक्यूरियम ओवर द एट्रोक्यूरियम सो दीस आर द फ्यू इंपोर्टेंट डिफरेंशिएटिंग पॉइंट्स अमंग द आइसोफिनोलोन डेरिवेटिव नो कमिंग टू द स्टीरॉइड डेरिवेटिव सो इन द स्टीरॉइड डेरिवेटिव नंबर 1 इज पेरिकेरिन दिस इज 4 टू 5 टाइम्स मोर पोटेंट देन द ट्यूबो क्यूरिन दिस इज द डॉक्सोक्यूरिन डॉक्सोक्यूरिन की क्या है longest duration is ka kya hai it is a longer duration theek hai lesson ke sath pe 92 isme bhi wahi roughly utna hi banta hai 9200 92 120 minutes kitne hi banta hai so jahan pe aapki long duration bhi hoti hai so relax uh, neurosurgery and all there we can uh, give pancuronic but it needs a reversal you know stigma reversal karni padti hai and then this five curonium it is also just like a same pancuronium then bicuronium 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 it is a close congener of this it is a yahan pe kon dikh raha hai yahan so it is a close congener of what close congener of pancuronium so the difference kya hai duration of action that is the short because it is metabolized fast redistribution of the and metabolized fast so it is one of the preferred skeletal muscle relaxant non depolarizing skeletal muscle relaxant for many position next is rocuronium rocuronium ka bhi wahi hai this is also a one of the fastest acting like rapacuronium that is also the fastest acting but it is not used nowadays rapacuronium nahi use karte because it causes the Life threatening complication, clear the complication and leads to bronchospasm. उसकी जगह फिर क्या होता है? Fastest acting next क्या आता है? Rock urine. So we prefer for many procedure. This is the fastest acting. जैसे मैंने अभी नीचे बताया, BCR. BCR में क्या आया आपका? Bicuronium. एक आपका ये bicuronium आ गया, ठीक है? Bicuronium. This pen is not working. And then another one is cis atropurium, and the third one is a rocuronium. So these three, they are more frequently selected non-depolarizing neuromuscular blocking agent. रेपाक्यूरियम मैंने बता दिया क्यों नहीं यूज करते उसकी जगह रोक्यूरियम फास्टेस्ट एक्टिंग बहुत ज्यादा यूज होता है देन दिस इज अ न्यूअर वन गेंटाक्यूरियम गेंटाक्यूरियम इज द फास्टेस्ट एक्टिंग लेस देन 10 मिनट्स बट इट इज अंडर फेज 3 क्लिनिकल ट्रायल वंस इट इज अप्रूव्ड इट मे बी यूज्ड एज एन अल्टरनेटिव टू सक्सिना कोलिन फॉर मेनी प्रोसीजर सो दीस आर द इंपॉर्टेंट डिफरेंशिएटिंग फीचर of non depolarizing neuromuscular blocking in the pitchy side kya thi that was the differentiating features between the non depolarizing and depolarizing theek hai isme kya hai isme it is a non depolarizing that is for the categorized to long acting intermediate acting and short acting usko chemical classification ke hisab se specially usko fir se categorize karke now we come to know is the histamine release hota hai ganglionic blockage hypotension and respiratory so um, all the like you important differentiating the features of the non depolarizing neuromuscular blocking region that we have discussed
in this slide. Now coming to the another way we classify it long acting, short acting and uh, uh, intermediate acting. Now that uh, duration of action it depends on what? It depends on the elimination half life. It depends on what? It depends on the elimination half life. In this slide you can see the drugs which are mainly, it is not only renal, the mainly, which is mainly eliminated by the kidney, by the renal. They have got longer duration of action, okay, now more than 16 minutes. You can write the range of 35 to 100 minutes. And which is mainly metabolized by hepatic and plasma, that is an intermediate, okay, now 25 to 50 minutes. And which is mainly metabolized in the plasma by the cholinesterases, that is a short duration of action, that is 5 to 30 minutes. Like succinyl codeine after 5 to 8 minutes, neva 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so uh, it depends on the जो आपकी classification long acting, intermediate acting and short acting that mainly depends upon the elimination of the skeletal muscle relaxant like long acting they are mainly eliminated through kidney mainly eliminated इसमें जैसे अभी है कि they along with the kidney they are also eliminated with the bile so longer duration में कौन सी आती है कि remember DPT इसका abbreviation कैसे DPT D stand for the doxycurium P is pancuronium and pycuronium and T is tubercular now, intermediate acting again we see here. Bicuronium, cis atracurium and atracurium we cut together and R ke liye do, mocuronium and rapacuronium. Similarly, the short acting we have succinyl MS curlo, SMS curlo, jo bhi hai, succinyl choline, then we have a mevacurium and one more that is a, which is under trial that is deltacurium. So this way you can remember, this is an individual drug, a little bit of difference hoga, but haan, at least mota mota tumhye pata hoche longer duration fraction kitna 100 minutes, 110 or 20 minutes kitna. So intermediate ka kitna, 1 ghanta, ye kya hai almost 2 ghanta ki, 1 ghanta or ye aadha ghanta. Itna ya, so depending upon the procedure, aapko kis length ka procedure chahiye, you have to choose the skeletal muscle relaxant drug. Now, how you are, are going to choose this neuromuscular blocking agent? So, Number one, duration of the procedure. Aapko kitna longest duration hai, brief procedure hai, short procedure hai. Like the first one, if we are going for the short or brief procedure, like diagnostic laryngoscopy karni hai, bronchoscopy karni hai, esophagoscopy karni then choose the succinyl choline. And if there is any, aap isko choose karni, you choose the succinyl choline. Isko aap karni. And if there is any contraindication with the succinyl choline, and then you choose the this contraindication उसके बाद फिर आप क्या करो मीवा क्यों नहीं right मतलब किसी में अगर ये टिपिकल से रोका नहीं स्ट्रेस है then you go for मीवा क्यों नहीं so fastest act shortest acting is succinyl choline and मीवा क्यों नहीं fastest में बेटा succinyl choline तो ठीक है but the fastest acting is रैपा क्यों नहीं which we do not use and then block क्यों नहीं and गेंडा क्यों नहीं वो ठीक है मीवा क्यों नहीं is not the fastest acting then longest duration is अगर आपको लंबी करने longest duration is doxycurin, longer duration की करनी like neurosurgery and pancuronium इसको कर लो आप, then nature of the procedure, what kind of procedure you जैसे अभी मैंने neurosurgery के लिए pancuronium, if you are doing for the ocular surgery small auditory muscle, so always prefer extra ocular muscle के लिए करनी तो then go for competitive, because the smaller muscle it is going to paralyze first at a very less dose without affecting all the larger muscle, then pharmacokinetic factor. Like if the patient is having hepatic and renal insufficiency. Now since atracurium, how it is metabolized? It is metabolized non-enzymatically. It is metabolized non-enzymatically. Hoffman elimination. So this means that if any patient has a hepatic problem, hai, renal problem, hai, so there, what, which one we can choose? This is a cis atracurium. The patient with a cardiac patient, what will we give? Vicurum. Right? Now, few of the, so this one is uh, the difference is uh, among the non-depolarizing skeletal muscle relaxant. Now again I'm, after this discussion again I will continue the differences between the non-depolarizing and depolarizing. Right? So non-depolarizing, we both of them they are quaternary compound, they can they are not uh, absorbed, they cannot cross the cell membrane. So mostly we give it by IV root. And it remains within the plasma. So they have a low volume of distribution. Dono may say, koi bhi cross nahi karte hai, blood in the membrane. Except 
कौन सा है द मैथोकोलाइट ऑफ एट्रोक्यूम लोडेनोसिन which can cross the blood brain barrier and the placental barrier also and it can cause what sorry blood brain barrier and causes seizures right and placental barrier it can cause so onset of action onset of action of the succin alcoholic it is a one minute onset of action one minute and five to eight days of duration of action so jo bhi aapko small procedure karne hai deep procedure karne hai use depolarizing um, skeletal muscle relaxing until and unless there is a Pseudo polyneurosis deficiency that is there in a person. Here we, uh, you can see the short acting. It is different. Is there onset of action? Short acting. Yeah, after intermediate short acting. Me, after your job, yeah, their onset of action is it's going to take two to three minutes. Intermediate long acting. Me, intermediate me, after rocuronium and rapa that is one to two minutes. Atra and rocuronium that is two to four minutes. This atra variant is going to take three to six minutes. Long acting me. Two to four minutes with the five pyronium, and rest of them they are going to take four to five minutes. Now duration of action. This I will be taking duration of action. It mainly depends on the elimination. Just now I told which are eliminated by the kidney, they have the longest duration of action. Which is eliminated by the hepatic and the plasma, they have intermediate. And which is by the polynuclear enzyme, they have the shortest. Now another important difference is pharmacogenetic variation in the metabolism. This may not be any deep tubular coronary, may not be polarizing any, but here it is mainly metabolized by the pseudo polynuclease enzyme. So few person they have a typical pseudo polynuclease. So what they show? They show prolonged acne. Now because it is not metabolized, succin and choline will remain for a longer time, and that leads to prolonged acne. So far in today's video, I have discussed mainly the differences between the depolarizing and non-depolarizing skeletal muscle relaxant. Then in the non-depolarizing agent, uh, long-acting, intermediate-acting, and short-acting differences among the non-depolarizing skeletal muscle relaxant that is also being discussed in the, this present video. So many at many point I have told you. Um, few points important points that may be asked as a mcq in the examination so that's all in the today's video in the next video i will be taking up uh, um, this one therapeutic uses and adverse effect of the skeletal muscle relaxant till then okay thank you